Hey everybody! It is Zapiorfus and Mario. We don't have any time to sleep right now. We have an adventure to go on. Now, in our. Oh dear. That was odd. <laughs> I lost connection with my controllers. Um, in our last episode, we beat. Rico Harbor. Well, except for episode 8, which we cannot do until we get Yoshi. Oh, and uh, if you were wondering, uh, Isle Delfino's port city is home to boats of all sizes and a thriving tourist trade. The fish market has the freshest seafood for miles around. We haven't actually seen the fish market yet. That's uh, in the last episode, which is Yoshi's Fruit Adventure. And somebody poopied on the lighthouse. Um, somebody poopied on the lighthouse so much that it, it doesn't exist anymore. <clears throat> it's gone. And in its place is Harry, the poop monster. Now, Harry the Poop Monster has also, um, you know, made Toad disappear. And that's not cool. Blue Toad is important too. Harry, you suck. <laughs> Goodbye, Harry. My god, look at how many bubbles there are. Harry, I hope I never have to see you again. You're a jerk, Harry. A jerk. Are you okay, Toad? Thanks, Mario. That's all you have to say to me? I saved you from Harry the Poop Monster and that's what you have to say to me? <sighs> Whatever. On to World 3. Gelato Beach. The Dune Bud Sand Castle Secret. Well, right off the bat, we've got ourselves a secret mission. Gelato Beach has to be the most chill level in this game. It's got the best music, but it's got the most annoying enemies the Cataquacks. The Cataquacks like to fling you into the air. And we go in here, and just like that, Flood is taken from us. And we have ourselves the secret mission, which is unfortunate. Um, this one isn't too hard as far as I can remember. I think... There's only one secret mission in Gelato Beach. Um, uh oh. Well, there is another secret type mission, but um, it's not like this. And just like that, we got ourselves our first shine in Gelato Beach. Yahoo indeed, Mario. <clears throat> oh my. That thing looks scary. <laughs> Let's not deal with that anytime soon. Oh. You know what? We're at the point in the game too where the toads are never going to be happy ever again. Horrible, horrible, Princess Peach has been kidnapped. Yeah, what else is new there, Toad? We're just gonna move on. As Kermit and Fozzie once said, we're moving right along. To mere madness, tilt slam bam. <laughs> oh, 
There's a giant caterpillar. Alert, alert. Just look at the top of the tower. Well, as I made note, there's a giant caterpillar there. And ginormous cataquacks on the mirrors. Some weird thing has curled up on the tower to take a nap. This could endanger the legendary sandbird egg. Well, time to kill some uh, one-of-a-kind creatures that we'll never ever see again. Probably on a endangered animals list somewhere. But that's cool. That's what Mario's all about. Killing unique creatures. So... As the name implies, we have to get rid of the creatures on the mirrors. Oh, I cannot see. Oh, just clearly spraying them is not doing anything. Oh, why do I keep losing connection? That's dumb. I'm sorry. I'm trying to be professional about this. Bye, ducks. You know, suction cup ducks? Not my favorite thing. Uh, now we have to kill uh, the remaining three, and uh, then we've killed an entire species. Mario is okay with this, so I guess I'm okay with this too. Oh. Goodbye, ducks. Goodbye, suction ducks. We have one mirror left. We did this in reverse order. You're supposed to do one, two, and three. But we did three, two, and one because we're better than that. Where is... Oh, there he is. This guy's easy. Check it. Boom. Bye, suction ducks. There. Mario has officially murdered an entire species. And a one-of-a-kind caterpillar. <laughs> Bye, caterpillar. But at least we saved the other endangered species, right? We killed two endangered species to save one. That's called conservatism, if I ever heard it. Conservation? Conservation. That's the right word. <laughs> Booyah. <clears throat> Shine. 24, hey? Um, continue. Yeah, that, that boat still looks pretty creepy to me. Um, I don't... I don't think I'm gonna go to that. Nope, I think this is where the game ends. Toad will never be happy again regardless, so what does it matter? Gelato Beach, Wiggler Ahoy, Full Steam Ahead. Our first, um, I was going to say our first actual boss, but that's not true at all. In fact, that's the furthest thing from the truth. We fought Petey Piranha twice and the Gooper Blooper twice, and this is far from the first boss. What am I, why am I dumb? We only fight this guy once, though, because he's one of a kind. And he's not too bright. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Oh, he's pretty mad right now, though. That's why it's called Wiggler Ahoy. Oh, oh god, oh no. There he goes. 
Oh, oh no, there he goes. Ah, oh, it's too late. It's too late for us. Maybe this time. Yep, that's the one. Boom, easy. And we got one more to do. He doesn't like the fact that we're, you know, stomping all over him. In fact, he's mighty PO'd. And he's running away. <laughs> Goodbye. Have fun over there doing that thing that you're doing. Oh, oh shoot. Oh no, he's coming. Oh lord, he coming. How did that miss? Okay. I have to try that again. And we missed again. Great. I'm really great at this one. There he goes. This one can be difficult because depending on where the uh, the leg is, it could be underwater. Oh, no, we don't want to hit access the map. And anyways, if it's submerged too deeply, then... Um, you can't ground pound on the Wiggler. And then just like that, that is the second species we have completely eradicated from Isle Delfino. Special animals that we've only ever seen here. Okay, and what we've done now is uh, we've unlocked... Um, <clears throat> a lot of people do not like this level. It's pretty tricky if you don't know what to do. Um, the Sand Bird is born. This takes place of the second secret mission in Gelato Beach. The Sand Bird? Um, what can I say about the Sand Bird? Oh... It's pretty tricky if you don't know what to do, like I already said, but luckily for you, I know what to do. Yes, I do. You gotta go all the way to the top. If you talk to the locals, they're freaking out because their legendary sandbird, uh, is no longer in its egg, and uh, so 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 be it. You know, like who cares really? Got to go into the egg, and in the egg is a red coin mission. Oh, and here we go. Oh shoot, Mario! Oh no, that was a bad start. <laughs> Maybe we'll just stay on the cloud. Okay, that was a, that was a bad example. Yeah, so we gotta get some uh, coins, and as you just saw, if you fall off the bird, that's basically it for you. There are blue coins out here, but we will get them later. Okay, so now what do you think is the hard part? Well, the bird, the bird decides it's gonna show off and start flying um, sideways. <laughs> because that's what birds do. There we go. 
Easy peasy. And then we just have to wait until we get to the top of the tower. And that's it. We got our red coins. Pretty uh, chill level if you don't jump off the bird. No, some of the red coins are pretty tricky to get, but like I said, I've played this game a billion million times. So. You can also fall off the tower and die. If you haven't seen Super Mario Sunshine Versus, I would recommend watching it because they struggle with this level. Shine. I don't think we're just gonna continue. Right on. <clears throat> Gelato Beach is a pretty chill world, to be completely honest. Here we go! Oh, level 5 is Il Piantissimo's Sand Sprint. Ah, Il Piantissimo. So this guy is a poser. He's a guy who dresses up like a Pianta, but he is in fact not a Pianta. I am Il Pian Piantissimo, and now we shall race to that flag. I like how he doesn't even give Mario an option if he wants to race or not. It is a race to the finish flag and only one can triumph. By the way, the current record is 35 seconds. Are you at the ready? Then get set and go. Piantissimo is not hard to beat. Again, he can be if you don't know uh, the route. Uh oh, or if you wall jump the wrong direction? Easy peasy. If you wall jump the wrong direction, well, that could bite you in the butt, but alas, few, few, ha! You are pretty good, and you have some speed. You have grown ever so slightly in my esteem, slightly. We will meet again, and goodbye. Unfortunately, we meet this guy a couple more times. But like, look at him. Look at him. He's he's a guy dressed up in a Pianta costume. He calls himself Il Piantissimo. Isn't that racist? Just, just a little bit? <laughs> Maybe? I, I don't know. I would guess that's racist, but I guess that's just me. Anyway, back into the beach we go. Uh, Gelato Beach, red coins in the coral reef. Now this one could be actually pretty tricky. Um, the coins move because they're attached to fish. And it's way out here. Woohoo. Gelato Beach is one of my favorite worlds in the game. It's very chill. Um, you know, like, it's just a nice hangout spot. Ah, oh, and they went into the rock. Um, it'll come out again. I oh, there it is. There. That one's pretty tricky to get because it moves around on you, and they can go into the rock. Oh my god! You leave me alone, you disgusting fish creature. What a horrible fish. I've never been uh, diving in the coral, but it would be fun to go down to like New Zealand or Australia and like go to the Great Barrier Reef. 
Yeah, that would be a good old time. A grand adventure. Um, you're snorkeling. I don't know how I would do diving. I've, you know, I, I've been around water my entire life. I've spent my summers at the lake, and but uh, diving is one thing I've never done. Okay, where's this last coin? Oh, there it is. There, nailed it. We didn't even get munched on by the fish. So I'll take it. I'll take it as a win. <laughs> yes, so. We win. We did it. We got the shine. Yeah, so, um, I don't know what to say. It's summertime. Summer's fun. Summer loving. Drifting away. Summer days slipping away. I don't know. John Travolta said it better, not I. It's Shadow Mario after him. Ah. Shadow Mario is after him. And if you talk to this guy, I think he's very confused. Hey, you, stop threatening me. What? That wasn't you? <laughs> what was he doing to threaten him? Die. Little Mario, get back here. Why are you running? You know I'm just going to beat you. Dang it, this ain't over. Oh, but it is Shadow Mario. But it do. People don't think it be like it is, but it do. It do. Okay. <laughs> so... Next is another notoriously difficult shine. It is called the Watermelon Festival. And this is known to drive people insane. But not I. No, you can get really lucky with this one or you could um, get very unlucky with this one. So the gist is it's a watermelon competition, whoever grew the biggest watermelon. And if you take it to the guy, uh, you can get the shine. Um, unfortunately for Mario, the biggest watermelon lives on the top of the mountain where we raced Piantissimo. And these cataquacks will destroy that watermelon in one hit. And this is why they're the most annoying enemy in the game. So you have to take this watermelon and you gotta push it all the way over to that cabana. <sighs> so here we go. Here goes nothing. Why did my flood not work? Don't destroy the watermelon. And they're very mean. Oh, and the watermelon disappears if you don't uh, get it there fast enough. Okay, we gotta get this thing out of here. Ah, oh, we got it stuck between the Cataquack and Mario. <sighs> this is why this is annoying. Oh, this level can be great or it can be not great. 
I'd like to see, I, I don't actually rem remember how speedrunners do this level, but I bet you it's very impressive. Don't get it stuck on the catacock again. Uh-oh. Oh, I heard one get up. Oh, shoot. Okay, no, no, we got this, we got this, we got this. Easy peasy watermelons. That is what we are saying from now on. It is not easy peasy lemon squeezy. Easy peasy watermelons. Oh my god, he's going to destroy it. No, you stay away. Okay. Now, this part is, it can be difficult as well. You have to get it across the bridge and do not break it. And once again, if you take too long, the watermelon explodes. And if you go too fast, the watermelon falls into the lake, or in the, into the ocean, rather. We don't need that. Come on. We got this. We got this. We did it. Whoa, now that's a big old watermelon like I've never seen. I don't even need to get out the caliper for this one. You win. And just like that, we beat the Watermelon Festival. Easy peasy watermelons. What did I tell you? Yes, so... That's it for Gelato Beach's main missions. All that's left is... We have to do the secret mission with the red coins and there is a hidden shine sprite. Yes. Zhu. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Well, I am uh, pretty happy with how the pacing of this uh, Let's Play is going. I guess it helps if you've played the game a few times. Yeah. I hope you guys are enjoying the content. I hope people are watching this. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, I'm putting a lot of work into this this summer, so I'm hoping it pays off. I think this Let's Play is going pretty well. You stay away from me. <laughs> Jerk. Okay. Ooh, just like before, we gotta find the red coins and... Not do that. Jesus, that was stupid. Okay, eight red coins before the timer runs out. Good luck. So, right, like I said before, you can also have an over reliance on your uh, on flood, and that will ruin you in these secret levels. Okay. Easy, easy, lemons. Oh, gosh. got it. 
If we didn't waste time going around the back, we would have had that, but... Um, no, we got it, so what does it matter? Easy peasy watermelons. And the last shine before the 100 coins is very easy to get. In fact, you can get it on any episode in this uh, world. You could even get it in the first one. The Dunebud Sand Castle. Yeah, so all you have to do is go all the way up to the top of the hill. Not quite all the way up to the top of the mountain. To the top of the mountain, to the top of the wall. Dash away, dash away, dash away all. It's from like a book or something. And you spray here. And boom. Shine Sprite. Bet you I didn't know that was there. It was there underneath us the whole time. Back in 2002, I don't know how people would have found that, to be completely honest. But it is 2021, and we have had the internet for many years. <laughs> All right. Well, I think that's uh, that's an episode. We have pretty much beaten Gelato Beach, except for the hundred coin shine, which can take, you know, to be completely honest, it could take thirty minutes all on its own. So, um, yeah, we're gonna end it here. Toad is unhappy, but it sucks to be him. And uh, in our next episode. We are going to do the 100 coin shine in Gelato Beach. And I'm going to take this pineapple from you because you're a jerk and I'm going to throw it at you. You suck. That man did nothing wrong. I'm the asshole.